All right, what's up, everybody? On deck with Third Eye Cam. Today's date is December 29th, 2020, and the time is 8.26 in the morning. Uh, I'm in Greenville, Virginia, up in the mountains, headed towards Roanoke, past Roanoke to Pulaski, and <clears throat> this cloud just popped out. You can see where the sun is setting, coming up over the mountains. Uh, I started looking at this cloud, and you can see all the distortion around it, but if you look in the direct middle of it, you will see a sphere. I can see it. Uh, it's pretty much layers and layers of clouds that are pushed back out into space. And I can tell those are not Earth clouds and it's one big giant mass. And that's, I think that's some of the mass that passed over us yesterday that had a, a lot of uh, planetoids showing up and I can see some of them, even though they've re rearranged themselves. Uh, pretty much I started seeing it come into fruition. Um, let me fix myself. So right here, planetoid, very small. Um, there, planetoid spherical deal and all around it. The big one is right here, you see it? Let me back it up so I can point it out for you. Right there, it's in the middle of it. I'm gonna zoom back in on it so you can see. Can you see it? Beautiful, ain't it? You gotta look at it in a three-dimensional that's how you're able to see it and then that one right there off to the side of it uh, and there's a lot more I'm pretty sure that I can't see but I do to see the shadowing coming off of those orbs there's an orb right there casting shadow so they're between us and the Sun that's a big blob of uh, asteroidal rocks and planets and <clears throat> look at these coming into fruition over my head here these are not earth clouds Meteorite looking asteroidal deal right here and here. Uh, more showing up here, and uh, unfortunately, I got a tree behind me to me maneuver. But the, you know, they're coming with the sun. I did see the chemtrailers uh, kind of posting up, but not too many. They were kind of just scouring. And this literally, oh, there's one. Yeah, he, this guy came through. They literally uh, just, uh, where is he? I'd like to show you them. There he is. So that way you know I'm not playing. Now the rest of the sky from now is clear. That's my south, uh, my west, my north, but my east has got activity and I just showed it to you. And I'm pretty sure as it comes, it's gonna pass over and bring more with it. Uh, like I said, these things bounce in like somebody throwing a uh, basketball and the earth would be like a hoop and it comes around, earth's, earth's gravity is a rim. So some of these get deflected, some of them come near and the rest we can't see because on my echelon I'm too low to be looking up. And look, look how this is really coming into for like sharpness. It's coming into shape. Um, we're just too low to be catching it. So there's a there's one right there also. And probably something I can't see behind that. But we can make this one out. That's what I got so far. Um, you can actually see the sphere inside of that. Once you look past all the clouds that are directly. Uh, position between us and that orb. All right, so we'll come back. I'm gonna come back out here and hit it up again. Uh, oh, there's a chemtrailer right there. See? Approaching from the east, northeast. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, this thing is like really starting to approach the earth and then pretty sure it's gonna deflect off and scatter all around the earth as it comes. There's another one forming up. So we'll see what they look like by the time I come out. Poof. Look at all that. Look at all that. It'll be coming around the mountain when it comes. You can see the uh, so-called clouds, whether they're earth and or spatial clouds, all interconnected, following the sun over the mountain, being chased by chemtrailers. see it coming so I see uh, I've seen already five chemtrailers probably more all approaching along this path making uh, trajectories at the greases so between 30 and 50 to uh, alternate their course to go from north east to southwest and back and forth back and forth so they're going along the signs the, the uh, going along the Sun's uh, traverse route as it traverses through the sky looking for any kind of objects, inanimate or objects. All right, we'll be back.
All right, what's up everybody on deck with third.com? Same date, time is 1507. 307 for my civilians. Uh, pretty much what you're seeing with the sky has been like this all day. Um, there are very few comets with long tails passing up under the sun. Um, and I'm sitting here listening to a uh, YouTuber named Dave Dobbs over in Britain. And uh, somebody caught a picture of some planetoids, a big planet either closer to the Earth or bigger, uh, on the left side, and one red little planet sitting to the bottom of this picture on uh, the right side, and the conjunction was in between, and it made sense. That was on the 21st, and then I started seeing these planetoids coming in. Uh, so it made sense that these planetoids, like I said, they swing in and swing out, and they kind of clear the sky and in a couple days they'll pop back up again and they got a dense asteroid field around them as well as comets so it makes sense uh what's today we saw them yesterday i think the day before so we're gonna have a clear day today and possibly tomorrow just like this now it's clear like this in all directions and i'm you know from where i am in virginia but the good thing is that uh, we got to see the activity yesterday. What I did catch, um, I can't dissect all of it, but I know that we caught something. Um, and that's out north. And I'm headed back east. So I just had to show you all that. Mostly the sky, you know, how clear it is and beautiful. You know, on a typical standard day, but it's like a dry atmosphere type of a deal. Come back. Poof. All right, real quick. Same date, time is 1521, 321 for my civilians. Uh, my first local dragon rock across the sky that I've seen all day. You can see it has a tail behind it. Uh, the lower end is the actual comet head part, and the tail is dragging behind it with a bit of a debris. So I just want to put that out there. And it's got another comet behind it. See that? They're in passing, and I'll be catching them later on today. Boom. All right, back real quick. Uh, just trying to see what this is. This thing keeps popping up every time I get here. I see it lighting up. I'm trying to see if it's an airplane. It might just be that, but it's every time I get to this part, this thing shows up. I think it's an airplane, but it's always slow moving. I saw it earlier when I was out. Pulaski it might be very well be an airplane, but it's just it's always moving weirdly. It looks like a tick tock, tic tac. Hard to tell. Hmm. We'll try to keep my eyes on it. What is up, YouTube? Uh, you're on deck with third cam, same date. The time is 1721. 521 for my civilians. I'm finally free. And I was looking up at the sky. And I see some rays traversing from where the sun is set all the way back to the moon. You can see the moon behind me, right there. Yeah, right, right there. That's it. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can capture these rays real fast. And, uh, Sun back this way, should be able to see some rays. So let's see if I can capture them. Here we go. All right, so we got the moon right here, rising in the east, full moon. Second day? Yeah, yesterday was the first day. Um, as always, the moon is beautiful, less of light. But what I'm looking at, and see if I this camera will capture them. There are these rays that are traversing. There's one of them across from the sun to the moon. Let me see if I can darken this. They're just, I can see them with my own eyes and they're moving fast, so I gotta capture them before they go away. There's rays shooting there, arcing over to the moon, 
and there's one right there, you can see that one, shows up real good still, and then there's one that comes around this way, walking over to the moon, and that's not my fastest to capture them, but it seems like they've already departed to a degree, um, not much been going on today, it's been a clear day for the most part, and I went way out into the mountains of Virginia, and you can kind of see the rays right here between, let me see if I can highlight them, uh, they're not lighting up too well, you can kind of see them, but nothing major. Um, but yeah, um, it's been a clear day all day, and I'm going to go home and do some more research. There's something happening on an epic scale, and I would really like to know what it is, um, because it's really interesting. It's never happened in life before, in like probably a thousand years, two thousand years, something like that to that effect. And everybody's going crazy. Now, the sun is well set below, but you still got this light. And, and I understand that my camera highlights in the high def will highlight the sky, but you can see the whole horizon and it's extra lit. And it still makes it look like the sun is still sitting up. But, oh, uh, that's not the case. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and. We'll go ahead and call it Heard Something. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. We out of here, poop. Oh, it's geese. There they are. One, two, three, four, seven of them. It sounded like my cat meowing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're out of here. All right, have a good day. Poof, we're out. All right, real quick. I it's a clear sky, but I see these two planes crossing up this one. And the middle is coming from the west, and the one is coming from the direct south. Sometimes you'll see him cross up like that, and it looks like he's gonna turn and play follow the leader. I'm guessing this guy, like he wants to turn, unless he's going back to Norfolk, and the other one's going back up to the Pentagon. Um, that's probably what's happening. They're probably from two different bases, or they're just barely getting started for the night, but they're doing their thing. Want to get that? You don't really see too much of this. I can hear the engines throttling. All right, we out of here. Third, I can't poof. <laughs>